stuff around here. That one That's recording? Yes. Oh, go ahead and record on this. Hello! I'm back. Yay! We have something to talk about Gundam again. Except we have no Gundam! Yay! <laughs> the irony, right? Bika Bika! Alright, and you got the Oh, you put them down there? Yeah, uh, he said that really easy to reach. Uh, I guess we'll you put, put them, them on top of the box. He said that we should eat them on the show or something. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll just take our masks right. off and it'd be like social distancing. All right, shall we do it? I guess so. Are you Sweet. ready? Yeah, I'm good. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunpla TV. I am back. It's been, you know, this is a since I started doing the show, I think that's the longest break I've had. Wow, how was your break? From Did the you get show, it was so. a good uh, vacation from the show? You know, uh, from the show, yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I was actually <laughs> on, on vacation. vacation. Unfortunately, I was still here. I was still working, just quite busy. It's yeah. Been, it's, been, it's been quite a busy, busy period. You know, so. it has been, yeah. But same on our end, too, in the office. But right, well, busy. I guess people staying home... And they can't really go out to go shopping, so what better than to do mail order? That's true. That's true, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that's good for us. So, thank you, everyone go. out there, for shopping with us here at Hobby Link Japan. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. And speaking of shopping with Hobby Link Japan, that is the point of this episode because we actually have new items that just came into stock to talk about so that is what we are going to do isn't that right mr evan that's correct so uh what do we have first what should we look at first what do we have in no. indeed we'll take these pikachu gummies all right so save we maybe for save that for last yeah save, save that, that for last. last let's put that down there unfortunately there's no gumpla this week i know i'm, I'm <laughs> finally back and there's no gumpla Yes. <laughs> so as soon as we have someone else to talk about Gunpla with, right? No Gunpla. No Gunpla. Uh, unfortunately. Hopefully, I think it's a uh, in what two weeks, three weeks. Is probably On the twenty second, I believe weekends. we finally have two HG kits being Ooh. in coming into stock, including new Iron Blooded Orphans. Yeah, kit, that one looks great. I think. And I think and another, another Gundam Build Divers. Another Build Divers yes. kit. So. Oh, I think it's another Core Gundam too. It's like I can't get away from those things. I'm going to have no. another Core Gundam. You're building a million Core Gundams. <laughs> a whole collection soon. Exciting stuff. All right, so speaking of exciting stuff, what do we have? Well, let's see. We have from Fate Grand Order another, uh, what is this one? Put Pucci? One of those Pucci guys? Pucci Petite Spirits? Pucci, yeah, uh, Asuka did the other one, I think, right? Okay, from yeah, the, she did. Uh, the, the Gilgamesh one. Gilgamesh, one that's that right. Uh, Fate Grand Order, and it's Saber, Altria Pendragon. Okay, she so, looks very knightly. I'm not too familiar. Are you familiar with the series? Not in the slightest, but it I, looks cool. I vaguely remember because uh, one of my closest friends in America really loves the series. I know oh. this is supposed to be like a female version of like King Arthur, if I remember. Correctly. Okay, well he's got the crowns. So. Right. So pretty cool, and uh, it's kind of got that like Nendoroid look to it. Very, yes. Uh, these are better because you actually get to build them yourself. And you know what? I prefer that. You know, right. it's a little bit more fun. Android, to put them it's a figure. I mean, it's cool. It's kind of already painted in color, but you just take it out of the box and you put it on your shelf, yeah. and then it starts to collect dust. At least before <laughs> before this one collects dust, you get to build it, so it's a little bit more involved. Yeah. And then you after you build it, you can go on the shelf and collect dust. Exactly. <laughs> just like all the gumpla. But there's too. more fun because you actually built it yourself. That's. What I think I, that's the most, uh, the, the biggest appeal of like stuff indeed, like this. You know, that putting looks, it I, that's kind of cool. I like her weapon. Maybe you can steal the sword from that and put it into like a hand of an HG gun. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's like that kind of size that you could stick it in uh, it's probably pretty really small being these Pucci kits though. Yeah, it, yeah, it probably More is. like an SD Gundam type size, I would imagine. Well, it looks like it's about half her height, so... <laughs> yeah, but then again, they're <laughs> small, so like who knows? Two centimeters. <laughs> so that is cool. If you are a fan of the Fate Grand Order series, then definitely you want to pick this one up. So, in terms of actual kits, the only other thing that came this week from Bandai is a new release in the entry grade oh, lineup. One. So another another one, this was from the Ultraman Zero. Okay, so we got Ultraman Zero here. So and this is for ages three and up. Ah, oh, you know, a little later, I think my daughter will be perfect age for these, but I don't know if she'd like Ultraman anyway. Uh, but. 
So I built I built the first I think I don't think it was Ultraman I think it was Common Rider the very first release in the entry grade series I put that one together but yeah with these entry grade series you're not really getting anything in terms of articulation it's just a fixed pose figure that that kind of just stands, stands there and looks cool but I mean for three years old and above this is something like really good for getting younger younger people interested in actually putting stuff together yeah, and following yeah. instructions so that is these those are good life skills to teach your young ones yeah i, would I think. think that one's actually it, and it's yeah full I, of i'm colors. not surprised it doesn't have articulation you know considering how simple it is right I and think 28 it, parts that's actually quite a lot for a three-year-old you know that's that's, that's a true. challenge they, they are good. still kind of a bit small yeah so. so that's a good challenge for a kid who just likes to play with stuff like that or legos right. or anything like that yeah you know? exactly legos but all the parts have actual shapes and forms and they only go together in one direction lego you can build kind of do your own thing yeah and different things but yeah. this you can only build that but it looks cool yeah yeah it does if, if you're, you're a, a fan kid, of Ultraman, you might want to grab that yeah or even even if you're not a kid you just want something quick yeah, that's true too. Because, you know the, uh, the the Ultraman like little plastic figures are always really popular. The ones that just kind of yes. stand there. So those you know, like that rubbery like... type ones. It's exactly. like the same type of size as that too, and it looks better than those. I think. There you go. So perfect for the audience too. Perfect indeed. Probably sell more of these here in Japan than overseas. I would imagine. Probably. Yeah. But the box does have both English and Japanese on it. So there you go. So there you go indeed. All right. So other new releases we have are. Let's we'll take a look uh, at the one in the thirty front minute here. Mission. Another thirty minute mission option armor for Commander, Robio exclusive. So it looks. I can't remember if we've seen familiar. something similar to this before. They all look similar. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. I can't really tell you what's the difference between a lot of them. But I mean, the kind of cool little walker type of thing that this one comes with has oh, six yeah. legs. I don't remember the other ones having little spider six or legs. Little dude. And that looks kind of cool. Yeah. So, if you're into this type of stuff, but also we've got new customize effect parts you know i really like these you can build some kind of action dioramas and go crazy with that type of thing if you would like now i wonder if these work with like uh, gundam and stuff too oh, I, I think, think so i think if they have like the the three millimeter pegs right you could probably right. use them so i think so these cool. should mostly work with uh, well i mean this shows a bunch of 30 minute mission stuff but it should work with Gundam kits, especially the HG, it would be more because yeah, yeah, 30 minute missions is 1 144th scale, so so it'd be good for that. It'd be good for your HG Gundam kits if you would like to add a little effect to your kits. So yeah. that is it in terms of releases from Bandai Hobby, but there was something else that was kind of cool that came into stock today. It's kind Gee, of wonder wondering it if it's hard for you actually to see this on camera. But yes, we've got here, and they're down here in the front, oh, and there's two sizes. Thing. There's an M size, and then there's a regular size. So the one that I am sporting right now, this is the regular size. I put one together here, and uh, this is I use the one with the black frame, so it would match my glasses as well. So I am wearing <laughs> my glasses underneath this face shield too. So, of course, with the COVID-19 type of virus that's going around a lot of these kind of face masks have kind of started to pop up and yeah. you're starting to see a lot more of them oh, of course we've got this is the more proper evan is wearing the more proper face mask that everybody out there should be wearing at least when you go outside but uh yeah we see a lot of these yeah you do you know especially too. when you're uh if you're, if you're eating or drinking i think you see those at like uh bars and stuff like that oh, it's easier you know, to get i under. guess you could do yeah. that well i can try eating something a bit and... yeah but one thing that was cool what a reason i really wanted to have these on the show today is that these are from a company that we've had i've built their kits before on this show we've reviewed so this is from a company called plum plum model so mm. plum model you've 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 i've reviewed a few of their kits in the past they've they do a lot more like anime type stuff and the game related kits as well so they also make plastic models so i think they because of the current crisis they said hey we've got these plastic model factories we can produce something that's more useful in regards to that so plum went ahead and they made actual model kit for a face guard it does say right here made in japan yeah, so, so you know it's quality it is a quality <laughs> piece of kit and it just so yeah all the parts the black parts come on your standard type of model kit runner so you don't even need uh nippers you don't need nippers at you all just pop to build them? these you oh. can just pop them right out i still use nippers just because i'm 
kind of crazy <laughs> like that. But yeah, it came on just your standard type of plastic runner for the black parts at least. And there was actually a runner for polycap. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is oh, right there's there. a tiny polycap uh, runner in here as well. And so this, the little polycap pieces they're used for actually holding on the, the oh, face mask. Oh, like a little button. To, yeah, like a little button to hold the actual clear shield onto the front as well as to hold the side pieces of the glasses oh, nice. on and uh, the little nose piece as well. So a few polycap parts and yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of interesting. So I have, it's actually two face shields included as well. So yes. I have the larger style on equipped right now, but if maybe you have a smaller face or maybe if this is going to be worn by somebody a bit younger, there's also like a half size clear shield included into the box as well nice. so you have your choice and then I, I'm not really exactly sure what the purpose of these clips are but it does also come with four of these little plastic type of oh, clips yeah. as well I put two of them on the side of the shield actually right here just so you can maybe kind of tell that this actually is a clear face shield that I am wearing because otherwise yeah I tried to take a selfie of me wearing this mask and it was didn't so even show clear up. it didn't show up but <laughs> I wonder if it shows up on camera now. I think I, we had like a slight reflection on it. I'm, I'm trying to like rotate my face around maybe yeah. so like hopefully it'll pick up some of the light going on. But yeah, it's it's quite clear. And actually that's good too because when you wear Evan's style of face mask, which is actually the more proper face mask that you should be wearing, if you have an iPhone type of device and it has that face ID only, when you're wearing that mask, oh, yeah. Good luck. Face ID no longer works. So I'm, yeah, I got, I got that brand new iPhone last year. I'm like, hey, I got the face ID now. No more of the fingerprint sensor. And now I really wish I had that fingerprint sensor back <laughs> because the face ID just no longer works when I am wearing the mask. But with this clear shield, actually, the face ID does work. Nice. There you go. Again, and you're so, protected. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I'm, Maybe not so much on the sides and the tops. But. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't want to like go out and say this is going to definitely like keep you from ever getting the virus it's I, it definitely seems like something <laughs> like worst case scenario if you're out and right. it's not a huge like issue maybe i don't know maybe i could i could try jogging with this thing that would be kind of fun another good thing about this is i noticed it doesn't fog at all so i I've oh it doesn't wearing it right. now at all and i like i would expect that it would start to fog up on me with my breath but there's been no fogging so far so that's actually quite nice but so yeah maybe not the most effective thing in terms of keeping you safe but it's something if maybe you got a it's a scooter it's, or a bicycle it's a good bug <laughs> windshield a big, right? yeah, i think this thing is, <laughs> it's it's i think if you're on a bike i think this is going to be too <laughs> too loose yeah too loose and flying gonna, off. yeah fly right off on you so it's, i wouldn't try that but uh yeah it's it's something i mean plum Plum, they're trying, so they're trying to do something. So all of these are available on our site. And I think they're all still in stock at the Ooh. moment that we are recording this anyway. Get so, that hot pink one. I like yeah, that Yeah, that is kind of cool. Maybe I should have went with the hot pink. <laughs> Maybe not. I actually might. I might keep. You know, I would keep wearing this. You know, like go to Tokyo. I don't know if I want to go to Tokyo right now, but I should. I should sport this when I go to it. like. Uh, I feel like I've seen that in shops like uh, restaurants or something like that, or waiters have been wearing right. something like that. Yeah, I, actually, I, I think I've seen it somewhere. Like I, I think yeah, in the restaurants they they kind of tend to wear this stuff too. So mm -hmm. maybe maybe I wonder if I could go to the gym because my gym now requires everyone wear a face mask, but you can't really jog on With a treadmill mask. wearing a mask. At least I get too hot and i can't breathe i wonder if this would be acceptable you should go in and walk in and find out and then i end up with corona <laughs> oh no oh no we're all gonna die but it is good for snacking so well, yeah so speaking for... <laughs> about trying to uh eat while wearing one of these things we got something else not gunplu related at all no but i guess we've had pokemon stuff on the show we so have we have indeed so we actually are selling so those of you familiar with our site we do sell snacks on our site and it started a couple years ago yeah. so it's summertime we don't sell chocolate because it melts too early but it's perfect season for gummy type of snacks that will not melt on you so evan what do we have oh we have uh i want to say it's puree right puree, puree. Uh, sounds Pokemon. fancy. Yeah, that sounds fancy. Tropical fruit and cola gummies. Tropical and fruits and cola. I don't think it actually says it on here, but I'm pretty sure these are sour too. Ooh. Yeah, so these are sour tropical fruit and cola gummies that are Pikachu shaped. They're pretty nice. Shall we try? Yeah, let's do it. I stole these off Dave's desk. Thanks, so. Dave. Yeah, thank you. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so we've got how how are these? Things? I don't know. Go oh, for it. All right, I'll. I'll 
take the first one here. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, so we got a little cute kind of Pikachu shit going on here with the gummy. Probably you can't see that at yeah. all. It's got like a little head and a tie. Yeah, let's zoom in there. there you zoom. A little tail. Tail. So and it's, it's it a dark color, so it's kind of, because uh, this is supposed to be fruit and cola. Yeah. Is it really color? So here goes the taste test. I got to go up under my face mask. I'm just going to expose my face now. Mm. It's definitely sour. It is a bit sour. They are bomb. But nothing compared they to the sour candies you can get bomb. in the U.S. Oh, no, like like Warheads and all those. Oh, those were so good. I miss those. I've searched all over Japan. I've None of the sour candy here is, just matches the yeah, Warheads. those things will like burn a hole in your tongue, <laughs> but they're good. Right. These are kind of like a refreshing, slightly mm. sour. No, it goes just away really quickly. Slight, slight sour. Yeah. But I think like the sugar crystals on the outside, mm. the sour part, and then as soon as that goes away, it's nice and sweet. Mm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do you say? Does it really have a cola flavor to it? You know, I would say it's more tropical than cola. It's got a bit more of an aftertaste of cola to it. Mm. Ah, okay. Tropical. I'm not sure what kind of maybe a pineapple or a mango or kind of mix like that. Mm. It's hard to tell. Tropical fruit combo. Out. Yeah, it, it does have definitely yeah. does have a bit of pineapple on it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I want to say it's like a pineapple mango taste along with some slight cola. Mm. But it's good. Very good. And you should add one of these into your next order. Definitely. It's small too, so I don't think it would actually increase shipping prices or anything either. So it's like probably a, not. Yeah. Probably just it's negligible if it does. I mean, yeah, it's the, a little I, nice bonus for. I mean, for the yourself. whole package weighs how many grams does it weigh? 56 grams. So yeah, this so would add 56 grams add. to your next shipment. That's not really nothing. Very small. Very, very small. Very light. So And very delicious. Yeah, they're good. They're pretty good. I'm going to eat them all, Dave. And how can you go wrong with Pikachu-shaped candies? Yeah, that's right. A little Pikachu's like, no, don't eat me. Eat, eat all the Pikachus. <laughs> very <Yeah>. good. Okay. <laughs> it has allergy information on the back. So it says milk, banana, and... Oh, so it's banana in it. Gelatin. Okay, so if you're allergic to milk, banana, and gelatin, then you might not want to order this. But... I don't taste banana, but I guess that's a tropical fruit, so that makes sense. Hmm. It does indeed. All right, so thank you very much, yeah. Mr. Dave, for letting us try mm. your Pikachu gummies and get your orders in for Pikachu gummies. Yeah. All right, so I think that kind of brings us towards the end of this video, that's but it right. is... The first week of the month, and that means what? We got some interesting comments and a giveaway to talk about. Alrighty, so let's get into it. Alright, so first comment we have is from original Dr. Delian. I think I'm saying that right. He said on uh, my video, actually, the HG Gundam Triage Magnum. Magnum Gundam, which is, I really like that kit. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did, but... Was that one of the ones that had the... The clear. No, what do you call those mini things? Whoops. Ah, we mentioned it just a minute ago. The what do you call the little tiny miniature kit that expands? Oh, the core Gundam. Core Gundam. No, it Korgundum? did not have okay. a core Gundam. This is one that was free of core Gundam stuff. It was not a uh, armor or anything. It was actually its own separate thing. It was the uh, Age One based on. Oh, Age one. okay. Yeah, that looked really cool. Yeah. He said, uh, wow, that's a lot of pieces for an HG MS. I also loved that 90s clear colored plastic trend. So, okay. Because uh, I said in the uh, sh the episode that I really like like that turquoise transparent blue color. Uh -huh. Like I love clear plastic pieces because I think they look amazing. And that used to be something really in the 90s. Remember like kind of like Game Boys and phones yeah, used yeah, to be yeah. really like everything was transparent so you could see the right. guts. I think my... Old Game Boy Advance was like a transparent purplish blue. Yeah, type yeah, of like color, stuff like so. that. I used to love those kind of things. They like those N64s, cool, but... Playstations. And... Well, we are, gosh, we are now like more than 20 years past the yeah. 90s, so I guess it's about time for the 90s to start making a comeback. And... I, need a, I need a phone that's like plastic. <laughs> Clear phones <laughs> to come, start inside, coming yeah. back. Well, I mean, we got Extreme is making a comeback. That's We've right. Got Master Grade Extreme exactly. now. Exactly. So now I need kit. my clear plastic parts to come back. In fact, I was really happy this guy had a lot of clear plastic uh -huh. blue pieces in him too, so I was He's kind of cool. Yeah. And next we have from Sven Tempest. Sven! On your video for the Iron Kong Yeti. Ah. Uh, he says, really appreciate the PSA on the Gatling gun. If I end up getting this, which I'm seriously considering, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. 
Hunting tiny parts on the floor is never fun. It never it's is, fun. especially for those of you in America where carpet is really prevalent, especially kind of longish type of carpet, and it would be really easy to lose tiny parts Vacuum in the carpet. Vacuum it right up too. Yeah, so yeah, I had a problem with that Gatling gun. It's got this giant Gatling gun on the backpack, and I picked it up after I finished building, and I picked up the kit, and there's just really just like two or three millimeter ledge just holding on the entire huge barrel. <laughs> oh, and that thing just flopped right off. It hit my hard floor and just boom, Ooh. it went into a million pieces. Each one of those barrels is individual parts. Like, and then you have individual part for the middle and then the tip, each barrel is also individual part. So there was like a million tiny barrels that went around Man. All, all the pieces, like literally every piece just separated once it hit that floor. And so keep that in mind if you're picking, picking, yeah. you know, picking you, that You up. might want to just glue that thing together. Probably. I feel like Kotobuki is, you, you kind of want to use some glue. Uh, sometimes. You know, because they don't seem as hardy or like... Sometimes when I build those Kotobuki kits, I, I do break out my Tamiya Extra Thin, my preferred glue there, and just dab a little a yeah. little bit on there just, just to keep it together. But I didn't do that when building the gun. I have the kit actually sitting on my desk. The Iron Kong is now relegated to my, my work desk, but he doesn't have the Gatling Kong equipped. Oh, because it's just, <laughs> yeah. Because I know it's going to, I didn't glue it together yet, and I know it's going to explode, so I'm like, nope, you're not you're not wearing it. That'd be fun having all those pieces go all especially, over your yeah, Especially here at work. Uh, yeah. I'll never finding it in that case. But <laughs> yeah, be careful. Iron Kong Yeti, it was a cool kit, though. I do love the Yeti. Oh, yeah, that was a cool kit. All right, so... And then last but not least, we have our random winner from Luca on um, the Hobby Link TV site. So not the YouTube page, but actually okay. the Hobby Link TV site. Luca! Uh, he says, uh, and this, oh, this is also from the Figurized Standard Metal Guru Man uh, oh, okay. uh, episode that Dave yeah. did. Yeah, Dave did that one. Uh, he looks amazing. I'm glad to have pre-ordered this guy the instant he went up. I wish for this release the day they announced the Figurized War Greymon. So I'm glad that you got the Digimon that you wanted. So all right, all right. Mean. So Luca, you are going to win this month's 5,000 yen Hobby Link Japan yeah. store credit giveaway. So, so keep an eye out for a uh, message from us, I guess. Okay, yeah. that's right. Indeed, keep it away. All right, so if you guys out there would also like to win 5,000 yen Hobby Link Japan store or credit all you need to do is comment on any video including these gunpla tv videos yeah. or any of the reviews that go up during the month of august and you comment on either youtube or on the hobbylink.tv you can comment on both places and you'll be randomly entered to win that's all you have to yeah, do really all 5 000 yen is quite a bit yeah you could probably pick up one of those uh which uh, amplified Digimon kits for that much? I Not think. if you could. I think it's, it's like quite on back order still. So. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, you can have it set aside for when they come. Right, back those in. those Digimon <laughs> kits are quite popular. popular it seems are. so. They go back order quite quick, and lots of orders come in for those. Or you can get a bunch of Pokemon gummies. Yeah. Why not? A bunch of free gummies for yeah. comment. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Indeed. All right. So I think that pretty much is going to wrap it up for this week's episode what do you so. say yeah i think that's it so we'll catch you next time we will indeed so yeah next week is the giant oban holiday right. here right. in japan so i do not think we will have an episode next week Probably at least not, no. i will not be here so if it yeah, if they do record something it will I will not be here. But there's nothing being released from Bandai Hobby in so, any case. So really probably no episodes. So look forward to our next episode coming around the 22nd or 21st. Probably more Sometime Gundams. in that period because that's when we have the next set of releases coming out including that uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans new kit as and well as Gundam. the Core Gundam style thing and some other stuff I don't remember. So yeah, that's it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all stay safe and yeah. take care and we will... Yeah, put gotta put that. Okay, gotta right. gotta keep wearing your masks or be careful. Maybe stay face safe. shields if you want to get an order for a plum <laughs> face shield. It looks quite snazzy, I gotta say. Snag one of those and some Pikachu Snag gummies. And some Pikachu gummies. <laughs> that would be the perfect order. That's right. All right. So this is definitely going to be the end of this video <laughs> for now. So thanks again for watching. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Catch you next time.